Welcome to another tutorial by uh, Star Trek Lover. Um, this one is about how to uh, how to uh, basically go to just about any world in Lego universe, give or take a few. Some of them don't work for who knows what reason. So you just call, you change the checksums. So I'll say that right now. Um, the list of checksums is on this page. I'll put that in the description. And it's a question and answers thing. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, there's this big list of checksums. Some of them work, some of them don't. And one of them is unknown. Anyways, so, simple thing you need to do. It's not hard at all. Go to Looney Server. Click the Looney Server inside of that. Go to Debug. And then you go to World. And this one right here is what you need to edit. So. I would advise opening it. You need, you actually need to open this with um, Notepad++. You can download that. I I'll, may as well post a description for that too. Um, something in the description for that as well. You edit it with Notepad++. And then there's this. And what do you do with this? Well, once you have Notepad++ downloaded, you click Plugins. You go to Hex. You go to um, Plugin Manager and you download the hex editor and it does this so that's exactly what you need to do and this one I believe was was um, the uh, a different checksum or which one okay here it is it used to be um, the Nimbus Isle one Nimbus Isle so E3045D okay and it's really simple how to edit it as well you do lines 8 and 9 for the first two um, but bytes, so like that for Venture Explorer E803, as you can see over here. And then the final four bytes, 7C08, B8, and 20, 7C08, B8, and 20, go on the second line on bytes on uh, byte spots number 0, 1, 2, and 3, or 1, 2, 3, and 4, it depends. So, yeah, and that's essentially all you do to change worlds. That's it. The Avon Gardens one doesn't work. I tried that a ton of times. For some reason it doesn't work for who knows what reason. Anyways, so just for proof, I'm now going to open up the Mooney server. I'm going to shrink it, get out of the way. Maybe X off of you. Open up this. Oh yeah, he also you also have to download the new client that came out. It's a hybrid client. It's he basically modified the Mac client to um see Mac. Wait, where is it? There it is, Mac. He modified the Mac client to um, work on Windows because the Windows one was um, crashing for some reason. So let's hope this doesn't lag like my last tutorial. And it might also take a while to load. Okay, there we go. Okay, and I might. I'm gonna want to make this full screen as well because that's always a good thing to do. <laughs> there it goes, it should be loading in any second now. Okay. It is a bit laggy. I'm gonna type it out. I'm gonna pick it up. And it should load me in at the very bottom of the map. And like I said in my last video, that was done because my computer was glitching for some reason. Um, you've got to hit spacebar for several minutes in order to get to the very top. A long time. Is it going to crash now? Nope, okay, never mind. It crashes at 33% if you do certain um, checksums. So just as a warning, it crashes back to a white screen and says like, Failed to downloading manifest assets. See it's gone. See like M for map. Venture Explorer. And I'm, it doesn't really matter if you actually get to see it or not, because I'm gonna make a playthrough of all the workable checksums anyways. So it doesn't matter if you get to see this, because it's in my previous video anyways, it's just a tutorial. It takes an eternity falling down. Once you hit the ground, it takes even longer to fly back up again. 
Maybe I can do something else though. Uh, maybe log out and then like hit spacebar as quickly as I can so I don't start falling in the first place. Maybe that'll save us some time. Let's pick you again. Let's just start hitting spacebar now. Now I'll wait till it hits 50 some percent. And then I'll start pressing spacebar, like just lightly tapping it to keep myself from falling. Okay, start pressing it now. Okay, good. Okay, so that's a, that's a really easy way around it. Rather than just hit the spacebar when you start loading in, like lightly tapping it rapidly, and you won't fall. And then you just spawn right outside of it. So yeah, I may as well show you the inside a little bit because I might not be making it. There's all that school stuff as well. That's my like, um, See, so look, this is the real deal. It's not the Roblox reconstruction, it's not any other sort of like thing, it's the real deal. Minus the rocket chapel, that doesn't exist yet. And it might not ever, for all I know, because I'm really bad with computers. Well, compared to Tim Tech and all those other guys. Oh yeah, Bob is missing, just like all the other minifigures are missing in all the other areas. And that lady over in this area is also missing. And these platforms are missing, the ones that used to raise and lower. Not there anymore, either. Those are The ones that are still here don't. So, yep, there is a tutorial. If you need anything else, or if I missed a couple steps, I might come back and do another tutorial, because this seemed unusually fast. Or it's just a really easy tutorial. But if you have any questions, I will... Oh, a plaque. I didn't know that plaque was there. What actually show things up? Destination Nimbus... Hmm. Destination Nimbus Station, minifigures, mini, minifigure recruits, and hypersleep pods, and rocket modules. It's convenient how you can just run away because it's got rocket modules and storage. Very convenient. So yeah, if you have any questions, I'll answer them, and I will see you later.